Thank you very much uh, all for, for coming tonight. I am so happy to stay here, and I like to, to thank the uh, University of Washington, and specifically uh, Professor Marianne Mercer for that invitation. I present uh, you tonight an overview of Cuban public health. Uh, the Cuban public health is famous in the world because it is different. It is different are many systems of public health in another country. <coughs> and many people is interested in sometimes and for know something uh, about that. In this moment, in the state was a an expectation about the some scientific relation between the United States and Cuba. And some in in recent days, last month, visit Cuba the Secretary of Health with a little delegation about the uh, National Institute of Health from Bethesda, Atlanta. And they talking about with Cuban authorities about the the possibility and beginning in a in a future in a, in, in, in a future uh, some res cancer research and some clinical trials about some uh, biotechs that are producing in Cuba. Maybe it would be possible. Maybe <laughs> now we we doesn't know uh, the. The Cuban public health is different because it has some important or principal char characteristic. One is uh, that uh, exists in the country a, a political will to develop that. That beginning since many years ago at the, the revolution start. Another situation is the, the continual development system. No, uh, it is a, a continuity in the times, never stop, all is in, in continuous movement and increasing with a, a, a expanding the service and expanding the human, uh, the human capital that working in that uh, system. The, is, uh, exists an intersectoral action by, that is controlled by the, by the states and the important rule of the primary health in all the system and the important rules of the community in the, the existence of that. Oh, sorry. Uh, these are the, the, princip <coughs> sorry, the principal characteristic of the Cuban health system. Whilst the, the more important <coughs> thing is that it's universal. It's universal, it's free of charge, is accessible to everyone, regionalized, comprehensive, and has a special uh, characteristic that is that internationalist conception. This um, uh, significant, sorry, that uh, the, the health system in Cuba cover all the, the country. All the country, we have a a medical assistant and, me and medical departments in all the country. Uh, and all the people, of, all the Cuban people is covered by, by this uh, system of health at any age, at any race, at any uh, sex. And the other uh, important uh, uh, principle of that system is that free of charge. All the people that need medical assistance in Cuba is free at all level, surgical treatment, maybe some important and expensive treatment as cancer treatment with a cytostatic uh, treatment, uh, any, any is free. Uh, an organ transplantation is free in Cuba too. Maybe uh, people need a, a hair trans transplantation and it's free. It's free the, hosp the hospitalization, it's free the the, the medication that needs, needs in the hospitalization and is free the foods and other uh, uh, 
necessities of the people into the hospital. It's regionalized because uh, so, uh, specifically the, the primary care is divided as the geographical division of the, the Cuban territory. Uh, our division, uh, geographical and administrative, is different as your. You, we have province that may be as the state here, and your countries, your counties, sorry, is uh, named in Cuba mun municipalities. And uh, the, the primary care is developed in the municipality. This is the, the schedule of the, of the Cuban public health system. Uh, it's maybe the, the same of, the, of many <coughs> countries in the world. Uh, the world. <coughs> A primary level, that is this, <coughs> the secondary and, and the tertiary level of, of care. <coughs> this system is not only, that I was talking, is not only from Cuba. Many important countries of developed countries from Europe, maybe Swedish, uh, Ho uh, Holland, uh, Finland, uh, has this kind of level of assistance, and Canada too. But so, some difference with our system is the, the stronghold of <coughs> our system if the primary level care, the, many, the, the medicine in the community. We develop a very, a very big network of primary medicine that is named family doctor medicine. <coughs> this block represents a, a medical office that is or exists in the neighborhood. Is in, in this office, it's an apartment or little house, a working a physician and a nurse. And they are in many in the community. They are each co uh, consultory or office of, of a family physician, a family doctor, each 800 or 900 people in the neighborhood. These this, this office are into the neighborhood and the physician working with the people, and some of them living there because they an ex an apartment. And it's po uh, made the possibility at this uh, health equipment, little equipment formed by physician and <coughs> nurse to <coughs> know his community because they are living there, it's, it's the, the, the neighbors. And, uh, the, are, are many this this uh, equipment in the in the community? Some maybe twenty uh, family doctor exist. This uh, a structure that is the the basic group of work. This basic group of work have some specialists as uh, gynecologists, pediatrician, <laughs> clinician, and psychologists in this group and social worker. This group is not a, in, in a physical building or in a physical uh, department. They are moving across these uh, offices, begins the, the, uh, in the solu sol solution of the necessity of the family physician. The family physician is a general, uh, a general uh, doctor, maybe, with uh, some of them has a specialization, uh, did the residence in, in, family, in family medicine. But uh, maybe they have <coughs> patients with problem, a specific problem, diabetics, uh, a heart uh, problem or cancer, and him, uh, this group help, helping them with the management of this kind of special uh, diseases. And in the in in, in each <laughs> municipality, each municipality <coughs> is divided uh, since its population in health area, and in each health area have an, an clinics of uh, primary a primary clinic service uh, that is in the Spanish naming polyclinico. In, in this polyclinical has uh, some uh, office of 
do specialized do doctors have uh, some uh, facilities of lab <coughs> as X-ray department, ultrasonography department, a clinic of rehabilitation, dental dental care, as your your clinic, Carlos, maybe. And the, the difference is uh, that uh, they, these clinics support the necessity of these uh, family doctors that are work, working in the community. Uh, and these uh, clinics exist to uh, glasses. Uh, the people who need glass may need to... Optometrist. Uh, optometrist, yes, thank you. And this... Uh, Health area, or oh, sorry, this uh, health area attends some uh, uh, group of physicians, and uh, <coughs> the physician sends his patient to this to some more uh, specialized attention. If one of these patients needs a uh, secondary or th tertiary attention, he is remitted by then seeing this clinic. Uh, this is the, the facilities of our health system. We have a lot of polyclinics, each in, each in, in one uh, health area, has a, a lot of uh, medical office in all the country, in the cities, in, in, the, in the farms, in the mountains, farm from the, the capital near to the capital. We have a, a 100, um, <laughs> and, far and half hospital <laughs> in all the country, Mater dental <laughs> clinic, <coughs> many maternal homes that have special uh, houses that is in each uh, municipality that uh, is same uh, a clinic for, for pregnancy. In this is in, uh, goes uh, some ladies that had some problem in his pregnancy for a special surveillance system. And maybe uh, uh, pregnancies that has a physical problems, uh, uh, a lady with diabetes, uh, hypertension, another con uh, condition, another disease, or social problems too. Maybe uh, a lady who is not have a more salary, have economical problem, not be provide he, he, herself of her family a, a good alimentation, has a stress in, in, in her house, because in Cuba it's a problem the, to, to habitation. And uh, are many, many years that not constructs uh, new homes. And it's difficult <coughs> to obtain, <coughs> to the people, to obtain homes and needs to live in maybe it's a, a big family in the same home. And maybe the, 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 the lady in pregnancy has a problem of social problem with the uh, arm, uh, a lot of people in the house and they go to, to pass his pregnancies in these uh, maternity homes. This maternity home has a, a nurse 20 hours by day has nurse, nurse attention, has a special food, a special attention, has, uh, has a, a social worker, and has a, the visit daily during two or three, uh, three hours by physician. Uh, well, this is uh, another uh, facilities of the, of the system. This is uh, in relation of the human resource of the health system. We had a, a lot of nurse, nurse have a, a very big quantity of physicians in the country. At the beginning of the revolution, always existed uh, this little quantity of physicians. Now, it's impression, uh, impression. impression the, 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 uh, the highest <coughs> of, <coughs> of the uh, uh, number of physicians and these are working in the, in the community. A big uh, group uh, of physicians uh, asked uh, to work in this in network of uh, primary care, the dentist, and a big group of the, uh, health technologists too. And it's interesting that 
69%, near 70% are women in this work. This is the, the facility of a consultory or the, the house of a family doctor, it's a nurse, uh, talking with a member of his community, maybe doing a educa educational uh, uh, assistance. He's the, she's a, a one, doct one lady, this lady is a, a doctor, he's talking with another visitant that uh, this office. And uh, in this moment <laughs> are uh, this number of family doctors <laughs> in the community <coughs> and covers <coughs> all the population of Cuba and all the territory. Uh, another key of the Cuban uh, system, health system, is the resilience. The resilience because he move into all the all the time uh, and with uh, many with many problems we we have we have a lot of problem uh, in in health i am talking about health Be, uh, that's beginning in 1916 about the uh, united states uh, decided to establish the block the blockade or, uh, or embargo against cuba and we have a, a lot of difficulties to obtain some medicines, so obtain medical equipment, so obtain a, some parts to replace in medical equipment that is changing frequently because they are American uh, equipment. And maybe we, we, don't, we didn't buy it here because by the, the blockade interpre, uh, law. But uh, uh, at last, uh, we developed some Cuban initiative and some Cuban uh, allowed no, of uh, the native cre cre creativity. I'm beginning to produce many of these parts to replacement in Cuba. Some Cuban engineering beginning to work about that. We, go, we cannot buy it in the state. And later, in, uh, since the, the last century, uh, another law uh, prohibits, another American law prohibits uh, another enterprise uh, that not, don't stay in the, sta in, the, in the state, maybe in Canada or Europe, but, but use. <coughs> is his equ equipment parts that beginning from the state, maybe a ship, maybe a little part of a, a big equipment, that, that enterprise don't uh, sell, sell, sell those that because has a little part, America, a little American part. And our engineers need to beginning to think in how to resolve that and beginning to, to produce different parts. Maybe it's not that good, that uh, principal parts, but are uh, working this, this equipment. <laughs> and beginning the <coughs> technological capacity by the pharmaceutical Cuban industry. Beginning to, we beginning to produce our, uh, our uh, farm and was very important the development of biotechnology, biotechnological uh, industry in biomedicine. We have an excellent uh, labs producing vaccines. All of our, our vaccines in this moment are producing in Cuba have uh, working in some uh, special biotech products as fighting the, with cancer, some monoclonal, monoclonal antibodies against some types of cancer, specifically lung cancers. The line of lung cancer is so developing in Cuba because the, our cause of cancer, lung cancer is the first, is the first problem in, in cancer in Cuba. And we de developed in this moment <coughs> four type of vaccines, two uh, <coughs> lung cancer. One of them is so famous, the Simovac, 
that the United States is so interesting to introduce here. And last tra the, the travel last months of the uh, health secretary to Cuba, his first point to conversation is to buy Simovax to use it here because the biotech industry here don't produce yet Simovax. And they are talking about that. And uh, this, uh, the embargo was a problem, but at the same time was a stimulus. A, a, an stimulus to, to develop our uh, technical, technological, and scientific uh, initiative. And uh, at last, this system has some important results. One of them, or the, the principal, that my point of view, is the infant mortality. That is, <laughs> is excellent <coughs> in this moment. At the, in 1959, <laughs> when the revolution started, we had 60 by 100 newborn. Now, in last year, <laughs> we have <coughs> 4.3 by 100 newborn as Canada or our Scandinavian people. The United States last year had a, a six. It's near, but uh, we are. And, uh, <laughs> and was uh, little by little decreasing until this point. Uh, I think that it's so difficult to increase more because nah, no Canada, no nah Swedish, no nah any other that principal nah, nah are uh, made to, to increase that. It is a result of a big program of a control of natality and a big program of control of a newborn. <coughs> the natality the nationality is a <coughs> <coughs> is a, a specific control by the physicians and all the, the women in, in pregnancy is checking uh, each uh, month in the, in the third, in the two first months, later two in, in the third and four months, two, two times at the, mo uh, at the month and later each week and with the family physician and the obstetrician too. He is in uh, looking all the the physical condition of this lady. They they, they receive uh, dietary supplements. They re receive pills with uh, vitamins and, ma and minerals. They do it some uh, uh, blood tests. Uh, we we use it some uh, tests for uh, gen genetic tests to. Uh, to permit us to uh, uh, early diagnose, diagnosis of some uh, <coughs> genetic diseases and is a, a, a very good <coughs> control of the pregnancy and later a specific uh, <coughs> measure with the, the baby newborn is uh, visited by the family and the nurse each week is a uh, uh, con in, in continuous uh, looking all, all the, the first year of, of life. And another that complement of all of that is an excellent program of vaccination that uh, stop many uh, communicable diseases that are in, in the environment that may be uh, 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 dangerous for the, for the newborn. Uh, the, the disease we don't uh, that uh, or the morbidity of our <coughs> population we don't any problem or a little problem with communicable disease uh, they are controlled because since 1962 62 beginning to work in uh, some uh, programs of control of a uh, communicable <laughs> disease as tuberculosis, lepra, vaccination, any programs, <coughs> diarrhea, <laughs> etc. <cetera. coughs> that controlling the these diseases in the population. Our more principal cause of of mortality are heart disease, cancer disease, stroke, cerebrovascular disease, and accident. 
the same of, as the development country, the same <coughs> as your causes or, or mor morbidity. The, 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 the blood hypertension is a problem in Cuba that is a risk fa factor for many of these uh, diseases. This is the, the morbidity of, uh, of the Cuban people, but, but it's, of course, the same cause of mortality. We, we don't diet by tuberculosis, by lepra, by any uh, communicable disease, but diet by accidents, diet by hearts, by, by diet by cancer, as the developed country. <coughs> If it's an example the, the tuberculosis. The tuberculosis has an excellent program, control program, beginning in 1962, uh, 63, beginning may, may be. and uh, was uh, at the beginning was a, 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 a higher rate of of uh, more morbidity, but did beginning to decrease, and in this moment it's not a problem the tuberculosis in Cuba. Mm -hmm. And the mortality by uh, tuberculosis is the under one by one, 100 uh, dozen inhabitants. This is the, the vaccination coverage. It's an excellent program that is covered against uh, 14 diseases at the Cuban babies. It's mandatory for all the, chi the babies or children until 15 years old. And the, the last year was 100% per, per of coercion in the popul Cuban population under 15 years old. It was, uh, it was an, an excellent program. Uh, it's um, management by uh, an excellent man, an excellent physician. He's working as the chief of this problem, program until uh, 15 years old. He's an old, an old professor, but he is a, a control of Cuban vaccination. Last year, the United Nations gave him the, the, the title of Hero of the Health <coughs> by the, the, the United Nations. I was so happy with that because he's my friend too. <laughs> and was my professor, of course. Uh, this, mm, with, with this kind of working in health and this program of vaccination, we can uh, or we may eradicate these uh, uh, diseases in the country. The, the principal was, or the first, was the polio, polio, poliomyelitis that was <laughs> an excellent <coughs> beginning of the prevention working because <coughs> <coughs> the Cuban health system decided that the poliomyelitis was a problem uh, against the revolution. And as it's a social problem because the, it's attacked pri uh, principally at the, 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 the children, has a secondary uh, effects, and decided to, to introduce a, a vaccine against the, and it was as a campaign was a campaign in all the country in the same time in a week. One dose, the first dose in, in, in one week in February, and the second dose in one week, one week in March of 1962. All the, the Cuban children was vaccinated in a week because working, many people, <coughs> many, many people of the community helping at the, uh, 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 <coughs> at the health equipment. And in a week was the cover all, the, all, all of the baby, maybe about two million of children. And when the, <laughs> the vaccination stopped, it stopped the transmission of the disease. We don't have poliomyelitis since 1962 until the vaccination campaign. It was a, a very big issue in the, in the health work in Cuba. The, the life expectancy in Cuba is a 18 years, seven, sorry, 17, 78 years old, more or less. And it's near the, the States and another developed country 
the, the ladies live in more time than us. <laughs> and this is uh, this, uh, the per capita, the spending about a uh, Cuban uh, spend in, in health. We don't have spent as another important, maybe this Canada, and he is the state. We don't can spend, or, or, uh, spend a lot of money that this country, but has at the same levels in results and life expectancy. <laughs> this is <coughs> another important char characteristic of uh, Cuban uh, health system, that is <coughs> the inter <coughs> international collaboration. Uh, be it's beginning in 1962. <coughs> in all of this period, this kind of Cuban health worker working outside in Cuba. Now, we have medical equipment working in six, 65 countries in America, in Africa, some Asian countries, and in Europe. In uh, one is Soviet Republic, Estonia and Letonia, and in Portugal. I some were uh, team worker of health uh, in that country. I think that the, the principal contribution uh, of the Cuban health system at the, the public health, at, at the international public health, is the model of family doctor. Because the other develop of health system is the same as the developed countries. At the, but the model of family doctor, the model of the physician in the community in all the country, covering all the population, is only a, mo a Cuban model. Maybe this is the principal uh, contribution at the model of public health. And uh, ad, uh, uh, this, in, in this long time, maybe more than 15 years, that uh, developed the system, uh, have uh, maintenance or continuous with the same characteristics, continuing, be free, that is so important, all is free in health service, <laughs> fully all cover the population, be accessible, be regionalized, and integrated. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, we, we think that uh, we have uh, some problems but maybe uh, uh, resolving. We have problems, for example, in this moment with uh, some physician, uh, <coughs> abandon them. Pardon? Leave some working in, the, in another country because the United States now have a law that uh, give the residents <coughs> at medical doc Cuban medical doctor working in the thing where's outside Cuba directly. They, they offered in that country uh, American residents and paid for the, for the trip. And some Cuban physicians uh, uh, are coming <coughs> to the state from Venezuela, from uh, Portugal from any country because the state has a special law is naming, sorry, I need to, pa Cuban Medical Parole Program is official naming at beginning in the United States since three years. And they are offering this possibility to, to consult the physician. It's, it's, it's a problem, but we have uh, many of uh, physicians are stimulated to come to the state. Um, maybe I was thinking that the relation <coughs> between the some institution, institution of health between America and Cuba will begin in a, in a few times, and <coughs> the beginning <coughs> the cancer research and started the clinical trial about some 
uh, biotechnolo biotechnological products, Cuban products here and American products there. They uh, exist the, the conversation and the intention of both uh, countries to, to, to work in that, in that, I hope it will be man in maintenance with the new government, maybe. <laughs> okay, this is, it, it is all. Thank you very much for coming. Does anyone have any questions? I wanted to propose a deal. <coughs> that is, uh, you send us your physicians, and we'll send you our presidents. <laughs> 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 Ustedes nos mandan los médicos y nosotros a, a ustedes el, el presidente. Maybe we we send some some physician, but we don't like your your new president. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, the, the AIDS um, age, uh, or the people seropositive is not a big problem in Cuba because when the, in the late 18th, when the AIDS beginning to, to see in the world the, the direction of Cuban epidemiology beginning to, to develop a control program of AIDS. And no, no cases in Cuba in the, in the late 18th yet, but beginning to protect the, at the population at the six without a, una, a chequeo exhaustivo de las donaciones de sangre. Um, uh, without a comp comprehensive uh, blood testing. Yes. Blood. And, and uh, all of the blood derivatives were uh, in special uh, tested. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, was protecting the population by the the blood transmission. Mm -hmm. In that period of time, we don't have a drugs problem. On those, uh, and now we don't have this kind of drug problem. Now we have a little uh, beginning a drugs problem in this moment. But these are another drugs, maybe marijuana, maybe uh, cocaine, mm -hmm. okay. is beginning to consume in Cuba, but not uh, injectable. injectable drugs. Mm -hmm. And we don't have it, the problem of transmission by people that uh, use drugs. That's an, another, another country. Later, <coughs> when beginning to to appear AIDS cases, was an a special hospital sanatorium that uh, the people was uh, uh, ingressed. Mm -hmm. It was in that time so questioned <laughs> was by some organization of human rights because they say that the, the people with AIDS needs mandatory to go out in the, in the sanatorium and not live, uh, living uh, in the community. But I think that in, in, the, in, in, in the beginning, this measure uh, stopped the, the transmission, but the, the people was uh, segregated, maybe, in the sanatorium. Later, uh, this uh, politics uh, changed, and the sanatory opened its door. And it was interesting. Many people that was with AIDS living in the sanatory don't, don't want it to, to come to the, to the house, because the, the sanatory exists one in each province. The sanatory has an excellent, excellent condition of life in all uh, individual rooms, with individual <coughs> bathroom, with air conditioned, with TV in the room. And many of these people don't have these facilities at home. 
<coughs> and in the sanatory has an excellent food too. Many of them don't have it, and many of them don't like to, to come to the community. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, some of them are living yet in the, in the sanatory, but working outside, working in a factory, or maybe if his professor is uh, teaching in a school and goes to his work and comes to the sanatory to, to continue living there. Many of them go and come back at the community. And other important things, is the special attention to the AIDS patient or seropositive. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I was talking about AIDS, but maybe it's about the, the both, the seropositive and, and, and AIDS patient. All the treatment that is so expensive is uh, so uh, difficult, but has many, many pills, many, uh, uh, retroviral uh, pills are free for them. And they receive a special diet supplement, supplement by the authorities. Uh, they uh, made to, to buy some special foods, meats, another milk, another proteins, a special situation for that. And now they are in the, in the community. At the beginning was uh, an a stigmatic uh, situation, maybe in, in, in any country. But uh, with the, 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 the times, it's not a, a problem with, with these people. It's integrated and, and it's working in, in his community. There was a question over there in the pink shirt. Yeah. I would like to ask about uh, the cultural barriers. How is the Cuban government facing the cultural barriers for the medical attendants? Cultural? We, in Latin American yeah. countries like mine, I came from Peru. Sometimes we, we could get the medication, we could make, we could get the equipment, but there is a pregnant woman with preeclampsia that she she doesn't want to be moved to the big city. Mm. And there is some cultural problems that the government is not facing. Mm. It's very focused in the money and the budget, and it's processing <coughs> the the cultural problems with that community that mm. is is working against the giving them the best treatment. <coughs> Eh, la pregunta es sobre diferencias culturales o barreras culturales y el ejemplo que dio el señor es que en, en su país, en Perú, eh, por ejemplo, hay muchos casos en que una mujer tiene que ir a, a la clínica, al hospital, que está embarazada y tiene problemas, pero no quiere ir al, al hospital y el problema es cómo hacer que, que vaya a ese sitio. Hay, hay esos tipos de, de, de problemas, de, de barreras culturales en Cuba. No, en Cuba no don't exist cultural uh, barriers. barriers because our pop population compo composition is so homogenic. We don't have a native population maybe with another country. All our population comes from Spain and come from, from Africa in the slavery, but a mixed and growing in the same cultural experience and don't have groups with one kind of, of, of culture, a special kind of culture and another. Maybe have difference of level of education, that is how you're seeing it. People more educated or people less educated, but not cultural difference. Cultural uh, education level maybe it's possible. And its problem not exists in Cuba because uh, at the beginning of the national health system, uh, the, the system of health changed its projection. And in the later, in the, another period, always the, the health system in Cuba was focused in the curation. Curation of any disease, you want a disease, uh, I cure you. But the, the system changed his vision or his focus on the prevention and the promotion of health to, uh, with the objective to obtain a, a health population, a, a health community. And beginning that it's, uh, it was a necessity to beginning to do a so important educational campaigns and uh, beginning using the radio, uh, the, the poster, the TV, conference in the community, 
uh, people, uh, uh, health people, uh, talking uh, at the community about health problems, about the importance of uh, solve some fa risk factor. And the Cuban people beginning to know a lot of health problems. And this is uh, some of the, <coughs> the, res the, the, the communitary response uh, of the health power uh, uh, process. But uh, <laughs> our community <coughs> is have a lot of known about health. It's a problem too, because in many cases the population has much about health and goes to the via physician thinking that he knows what happened and maybe tell the doctor, doctor, I call you for reset me a penicillin because I am sick and I, I need penicillin, mm -hmm. or I need some drug, or I come, you, I, I come to see you, but you send me to be to do an MRI. And he, he, he has a, a lot of, of knowing about health. And maybe the, the physician in this, in this case need to, to begin a, a negotiation with the patient. You, know, the, you, you don't the, you, you don't need that pills. You don't need that treatment. You don't need an MRI. It may be dangerous because it has uh, radiation. It's, it's, you, not, you, don't, uh, you don't have a, a necessity. It's, it's another kind of situation. Yeah. Uh, in this country, we have a big problem with the imbalance between specialists and primary care physicians. And I noticed from your slides that it seemed like just one in ten were working at <coughs> clinics. So what's happening with the rest of your primary care? Are they working at the uh, uh, polyclinic and hospitals uh, overseas and other countries? Or you know, what's your ratio between specialists and primary care? Eh, la pregunta es que sí. en ese país hay una gran diferencia entre el sí, de... ¿Entiendes? Sí. Ok. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of practitioners in primary health. Some of them are uh, specialists in, in primary health care too, and family physician that we have a resident of that. A lot of, uh, and maybe a, a half, half of them are <coughs> specialists. And they always working in the community. Uh, the another specialist always work in hospital. Some of them may be a surgery or orthopedic uh, cardiologist, work in hospital and maybe one, one day uh, uh, by week goes to polyclinics to do some special consult for the, for the patient. <laughs> but all <coughs> the levels of primary care is by, the, by physicians that always work at this <coughs> level. So you showed a very impressive decline in tuberculosis and you had the <coughs> different steps that you used to <coughs> arrive at that decline. And then you show the other slide that has hypertension yes. increasing and we all know how important that is for the diseases associated with hypertension. Do you have, is there a plan to start gradually addressing hypertension and one that perhaps uh, the rest of the world can learn from? Yes, we have a plan because you know that it's so difficult. But it's not the same, the control of, a, of epidemic disease, that you have some training, specific training, so a, a good a control program, and many of them have vaccines, and you, you, you work hard in that and beginning to, to decrease uh, the level. The blood hypertension is a problem because the, the modern life is so associated with that, the risk factor. Maybe the obesity, maybe the, the, the stress, so on and off. Uh, we have to, to try it, to control that, but it's, di it's, it's difficult. It's an important uh, clinical research in one of the province in Cienfuegos. They are working uh, uh, and they are uh, observing since 1998 uh, the hypertension population of that uh, province. It's a court study. And we have tried to, to do in, in many actions. And they have uh, excellent results 
they are beginning to decrease the hypertension in that province, working as a change this, this, the style of life only. Change because uh, uh, trying that this population uh, do exercise, trying to, to eat better and eat less, maybe uh, more of the hypertension as fat man, as me. I am hypertension and fat man. <laughs> and don't do exercise anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, to stop the smoking. And uh, it, it, they, are, they are beginning in this uh, core that started uh, excellent results. But uh, it's not in, in all the country, again, all the, the family doctors are working in that but not with the, the same results of the Cienfuegos because it's an excellent study, planification, controlled uh, uh, studies. Then is um, an important issue that all of control program of any disease is working now in the community with the family physician. For example, exists a program of tuberculosis for for talking about one that has a specialist that working in this program, epidemiologists, uh, some uh, another long specialist that working in the control of the program. But the action, the activities, do it the family physician that has how many TB cases has in, in his community and do the, the treatment. Uh, the treatment is um, fiscal, fiscally stated, the dots in, in all the world, but it's do it by family physician. And all the control, the age, the pregnancy, the, the the, the newborn uh, program is focused in e the, the community, in each uh, council of uh, or office of, of <coughs> family <laughs> physicians. <coughs> <coughs> If you can do it in both, that would be great. Well, we have a very good comment from the postnatal, which is a level community, and which also does a accompaniment of medical in that process of postnatal for the stimulation of the cognitive stimulation of the children. I would like to know if you could tell us a little bit more about how the process of postnatal is related to the health of the children. So the question, the professional question in English is basically if you could explain the nature of this program of maternity leave and, um, and infant health, right? All the, all the activities of health is in the community, all. Uh, the, uh, goes to the hospital, some, patient, some complicated patient. All the patients, management in the community. The newborn is attended by the family physician and the pediatrician that working in the basic uh, working group. 
and they and the nurse they visit at the house of the newborn frequently, maybe two or three times a week. The nurse, the physician, once time of the week visit the the baby, uh, attends then his uh, in surveillance of, of of this baby, <coughs> and the mother needs to <coughs> to give. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, to give him at the office too, but the physician do a um, medical uh, examination and medical control. But it's a, a, a big uh, checking, no, a, a, a frequent checking Check, of, yeah. of, of, of this baby during the, the, the first six months and the first years. It's an active uh, sor seguimiento, uh, follow up. Follow it, oh, of the of this baby, and the nurse do some stimulation activities. The nurse, and it is possible because in the in the neighborhood no not exist more much newborn too. Maybe I, I told you that the 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 family doctors and the family nurse attend maybe at eighteen or nine eighty or age or nine hundred people. Maybe in this community, about 900 people, they have uh, 20 newborn in, in a year, not, not much born. Our lady don't like to, to be a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem because uh, our population is growing. And uh, our uh, pyramid of population is beginning to be, now it's here. L l uh, sorry, in last it was like this. Now it's maybe l beginning, and in the near, f in the close future, will be like this. <laughs> and who, wo who, who will work? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I view, I, I view myself with my <laughs> working. James. One of our biggest challenges in the United States in public health are racial disparities in health. And I know Cuba, you were saying it's very homogeneous, but in fact you have a large uh, population of African descent, a yes. large population of European descent. Are there disparities now um, that still exist in Cuba around health outcomes? We have different kind of, of racial types. We come, we come from the population that come from Africa a long time ago. Uh, the, the population come from Europe and more the population mixes. That is the... Uh, people of mixed descent. Yeah. People, that is, is, is a big group because all the funded, pardon, all integrated. They're integrated, yeah. <coughs> but we don't have difference in health. No, I, I don't talking about the health uh, opportunities. Of uh, we don't have seen difference in diseases between a group or another group. Not many <coughs> of these uh, the community have <coughs> the same social experience. Maybe don't have uh, another. We don't have difference in uh, statistic systems. We don't have raid by uh, white people or black people. We don't have rates for uh, a special, maybe you have for Latins, no? For Latinos. Latinos, Latinos. For Latinos. We, don't, we have all system of statistics, <coughs> all the Cuban uh, is in the same group. No, uh, it's the same if it's, it's black man or black lady or white man or, or, or Chinese descendant. We have only an only system of uh, statistic because it's the it's the same problem. All, all the all the time, not now with the the revolution. The the health statistic system beginning in Cuba in nineteen in nineteen with the um, the first American military army occupation. And the uh, statistic system was only a uh, uh, same since the that year. Not divided as here by ethnical group. Yeah. Primero, que no estoy en español, le pregunto por inglés. Quería hacer una pregunta sobre el problema del Zika. Sé que es un problema grande en Colombia, en Brasil, en otras partes del Caribe. 
¿Cómo está haciendo Cuba para combatir o prevenir el Zika? I'm asking him about Zika in Cuba, how they're dealing with it, how they're preventing the spread. Zika is not problem now for us. We have problem with dengue. Dengue, Zika, and chikungunya fever is transmitted by the same mosquitoes specimen, the Aedes <coughs> aegypti. And we have a lot of Aedes aegypti. We have uh, dengue, many epidemics, and a endemic of dengue too. In the, the last two years, maybe it's endemic. This is not an epidemic, it's all the all the, the months we have dengue in a, in a line. We don't have the that that kind of cure. Maybe the, we have a dengue um, meseta, <coughs> a platter in the in the graphic. Uh, we we had a little case of chikungunya fever last year, and at the beginning of this year was uh, reported some of chikungunya, but not a lot. When the beginning of Zika fever in Brazil, that we have a lot of uh, medical team in Brazil, about uh, four, 14,000 primary, uh, primary level of assistance. Physicians are working in, Bra in Brazil, 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 Brazil. Brazil. Mm -hmm. in Brazil, and our <laughs> so relationship <coughs> the epidemiological system beginning to 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 develop a, <coughs> a, a specific program of of surveillance of things. We we buy the some we buy it when the Ebola disease uh, equipment to to scan the the people in the airport that may be with fever. Uh, we, you have it in, 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 in your airport too. When you pass it in many sites of the airport, there is an equipment that tell the, the medical authority that is uh, one people with uh, a fever. And we and choose that. And, and the principal uh, f fight is uh, the, again, it's again, uh, Mosquito. We have a, a, camp a campaign in all the country against mosquitoes with people uh, doing fumigation, each house to house, uh, a, a mass media campaign about uh, talking at the population the necessity of don't have a condition of living of mosquito, maybe recip recipients with water in the patios, in the garden, uh, any uh, any container? any container that may be uh, receive uh, water or raining <coughs> we, in Cuba in some period rained a lot <laughs> and <coughs> I left Cuba at beginning of October because I am in in a fellowship in, in Brown last month and this month. And in September, there was a report of Zika, was 41 cases. It's not a problem. The problem is in Brazil, Colombia. Colombia has a, a big problem with Zika too. Puerto Rico, <coughs> and, and in Florida too. Yeah, I just <coughs> wanted to say, I appreciate your coming, and I want to just stress that None of this could have happened if the Cuban people didn't make a revolution. You know, Che Guevara said, if you want to be a revolutionary doctor, you have to make a revolution. Yes. To take the profit and the market system out of health care, and that's what you've done. And despite the fact that every U.S. administration, Republican and Democrat through to the present, have tried to overturn your revolution, the Cuban people have not permitted that to happen. So the question, I, I was wondering if you could say a word about um, the Ebola crisis and what the Cubans did in sending contingents there. And also, I don't think most people here know anything about the, the Chernobyl program that the Cubans undertook you know, for many, many years. I think people should know about those things. Yes. 
Son varias cosas. Eh, primero que todo eso ha sido gracias a, a la Revolución Cubana, a pesar de los esfuerzos de los Estados Unidos para, para cambiar todo en Cuba. Y la pregunta son si puede hablar sobre la, la crisis de Ebola y eh, lo que ha hecho Cuba eh, en África para ayudar a los países con Ebola. Y también si puede hablar de, de, de Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Lo que pasó en Chernobyl, en, en, en Rusia. Eh, the, the principal issue of developed uh, one kind of system like that is the political will. Mm -hmm. With, without political will, any country may to develop uh, the, this, con this, this kind of service. That is not uh, only from Cuba. Many countries have, this, this government have political will and develop a, a good system of health as Canada for example. But uh, the, the second question is the, the, the Ebola crisis. Well, everybody knows what happened with Ebola last year in Africa. At the United Nations uh, called. called for the, any government, any physician to work to, to, help, to, to, to help the, the three countries with Ebola. A Cuba response and organized an, a, a medical team work that work to, to work in there. And they were working as the United Nations uh, condition in the three countries have a, a big team, about 152 or 50, 50 age people, a nurse and physicians only months, they decided that uh, it was uh, so, so dangerous working, don't, don't want any, any ladies, any Cuban ladies, uh, especialists in health, yeah. working there until the, the, the disease was controlled. It was uh, so difficult, in so difficult con uh, condition of working, maybe you know in the, in the news, the, the, the equipment that need to, to protect the, the people that were working with these people was, was so stressing. But I, I think that was the, the only country to, to send physicians to that situation. Some non-profit organization as uh, Medicals in Frontera, Medicine San Frontier, uh, send some, but three or four, some free uh, medical doctors that go to many countries, but one or two by country go out mm -hmm. and uh, that works, but the only the organization, uh, uh, a thing where was Cuba, and it was a, a big recognition by United Nations World for that the working. And it was interesting because last month in October, the, amb the American ambassador of, of, of the United Nations, Samantha Powell, uh, was in, in a meeting in the uh, Council of the United The UN Council. Of the Security United Council. Nations, mm -hmm. uh, refers at the working of the Cuban team works in Ebola in Africa. In the General Assembly of the mm -hmm. Na United Nations, it was so interesting that the, the, the state ambassador talked and talked so favorably. Uh, favorably. And in, in, that, in that moment was some collaboration with the states because the state provides some supplies <coughs> and some medicine for the countries for Ebola that the Cuban thing were use it and control it beginning the, the medical collaboration in this, in this uh, disease. And about Chernobyl, but, uh, but you, you know what's up in Chernobyl with the nuclear accident in 1986. And later, <coughs> the, the population of Ukraine and Chernobyl beginning to develop some radiation disease as some type of cancer, leucemia, some lymphoma, and a specific uh, cancer 
produced by radiation. Cuban organized a program of attention of children from Chernobyl. And this, in that, in that moment, always that is the Soviet Union. The, the Soviet Union government paid the, the travel and Cuba um, used an, an very, a very big <laughs> summer school that uh, there is in, the, in one of the, the, the beaches near Havana that was a, a very big summer school for the Cuban students and they closed the, sc uh, the school and transformed this, that building in hospital, in hospital for treatment for the children of uh, Chernobyl. And did a uh, free treatment, it's so, so expensive treatment, because it's cancer treatment by 200, 300 children in, in, the, in the Chernobyl. We, we know in Chernobyl Hospital too. Non, it's not the name, but it's the, the popular name. And at this moment, continue going. Some Chernobyl children that has cancer or have leukemia, because the, the radiation, uh, the, some uh, Chernobylian women are ha in this moment have at last half babies with uh, cancer too. New babies, newborn babies with cancer, and Cuban government is treatment then free. Not a big, big as that period, but maybe there are about uh, all the time is 100 uh, children in the in the hospital, free of free of charge too, and they are, and yet not exist yet uh, the Soviet Union, but is the uh, humanitarian problem that Cuba try to. To, to help to resolve. Other question? Yeah. Uh, you said that almost 70% of healthcare workers are women. Pardon? You said that yes. all, uh, what is the distribution of men and women in different classifications, like doctors, nurses, dentists, specialists? I don't have the, the rate, the specific rate, but I may tell you that it's it's the same in, in all. Uh, the nurses maybe has a big, a big person. Many, many of the Cuban nurses are women. Many, many of that. Maybe uh, 16 or 17 percent are women and 30 percent are men. And the, the physician or medical doctor is in the inverse situation. More of uh, of our physicians in this moment are women, and another technologist is more or less fifty fifty, and psychologist fifty fifty. <coughs> but physicians are in this moment are more women and nurses too. <coughs> Was there a campaign to get more women? <coughs> Pardon? Was there a campaign to get women um, to be doctors or? No. No, it, it's the opportunity that the women in Cuba. Was it like that? It's, the, it's the same opportunity. It's, uh, it's, in the, uh, it's not uh, inequalities mm -hmm. between, uh, by gender. And the women has the, the same accessibility to, to the university. Historically in Cuba, have women been providers of, any, of health in their families? Uh, yes. Um, is yes. uh, always the the women provides a, ser a health service into the family, and later uh, in all the time, uh, the nurse was uh, specifically by na by by, by women. In recent times, beginning to go uh, men to the to the to to the nursery profession. Last question. So you spoke a lot about political will, and along with, like, I think, like the political climate of Cuba, um, is there any effect that the dual currency system has on, like, physicians' jobs? Like, um, do you see any decline in the amount, like, how many people are going into um, medical? 
like more money through like the say say versus the money of the maximum amount. Is there any effect that the dual currency has on like health care jobs? No, but. Eh, <coughs> pregunta si el sistema de dos monedas en Cuba ha tenido algún efecto en, en, efecto en, en, la, en el número de, de personas que, que eh, quieren ser médicos o, o, o ir a otra profesión. No específicamente, de, de both kind of eh, money, money has eh, effect in all the Cuban life. Mm -hmm. But not specifically to be a doctor or no. Uh, I think that is the, the less. Many of uh, professionals uh, abandoned, uh, uh, left. left the professions to work in not a specific working because they are working as with the tourists and uh, ganando más. And earning more. And earning more, more money. Mm -hmm. Pardon? How much a doctor makes in Cuba? ¿Cuánto gana un médico en Cuba? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, this is a bad situation. The, the medical doctor has the highest salary in Cuba. Mm -hmm. We have a difference with another professional, but we have a, a lot, a, 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 low, mon, a, a low salary. Low salary. Uh, sin, since Three years ago, we received an increase of the salary that maybe um, a physician specialized with PhD is uh, receiving about two, two, between two and two, two twenty-five uh, thousand pesos. It's about eighty dollars by month. $80 by month. But another profession has less. Maybe an engineer have about $15 by month. Yes, I think we're out of time. So please join me in thanking Dr. Bella. Thank you very much.